When importing your motion capture file into Motion Builder, you go to File, Motion File Import, and then select your motion capture C3D file. If your animation consists of several different motion capture files, it is advisable to import all your C3D files at the same time. This will make it easier for you in the editing step. Once your data has loaded, you can play through it on the timeline. You can see that it currently consists of only markers. We now need to allocate them to different joints of an actor. So what we do is we go to the Resources menu and click on Characters, and we can drag the actor into the viewer. You then need to select it and scale it to move it to fit with the motion capture data. If you don't do this and attach the actor to the data, the actor will deform as it forces itself to fit to your markers. You do the same for every actor that you have in your scene. As you can see, my second character is a lot smaller. You need to select the whole body to scale it, otherwise you would only scale the hips and not the entire body. However, you also need to deselect the sphere between the feet as that belongs to the motion capture data, and, and not deselecting it would also scale the data. Next, in the Navigator window, click on Actors. Double-click on one, and on the right, create a new marker set. Go into the Scene tab and select the correct C3D opticals and drag them to the corresponding point in the marker set. If you make a mistake, undo all because the order seems to make a difference. Select the Active and the Lock button. Label the actor, and do this for all of the actors in the scene.